Simmons Bath and Wheel Eliza takes us to the heart of what was once the Forest of Exmoor. You'll explore breathtaking views and history accessed by this glorious there and back walk. Here's all you need to know about visiting. Parking can be accessed turning left off the B3223 up from the Exmoor Forest Inn. From the car park, walk back down past the pub and cross the road as it bears right. This story rich route has some really cool industrious ruins just waiting to be explored. The largely compacted stone track starts from the car park and takes you along the beautiful upland valley to the River Barl and on to the mysterious Wheel Eliza. Handily, you return on the same route. This part of Exmoor was a royal forest for thousands of years. In 1820, John Knight finally secured his ownership of the old forest, in which to create a picturesque and productive landscape. Bit of early morning traffic ahead. The only movement is the occasional bird startling in the trees or a squirrel dashing up a nearby trunk. The footpath to Wheel Eliza was originally built to provide access to the mines. Between 1845 and 1857, shafts up to 300 feet were dug to mine copper and then iron. On your right, you'll see the Upland River flowing below, teeming with insects for trout, bullhead and even salmon. What an unexpected treat, wild raspberries. So we made it to Wheel Eliza. This place oozes the feeling of a time long ago. Walking through this quiet place today, it's hard to imagine the noise and industry of the past. Now a quiet spot for a picnic, this was once really busy with industry. A water wheel harnessed the waters of the river Barl to drive pumps and cottages were built to house the miners. Will Eliza hasn't always been so tranquil. It does have a dark history, and exactly what, I'll leave you guessing for the walk back. We really hope you've enjoyed this walk up the fascinating Baal Valley, and if you'd like to join us for another, then please visit our website, exmoorwalks.org.